This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10, and I'm going to show you how to calculate KEQ, the equilibrium constant. Here's a sample problem. NH4HS solid decomposes into ammonia gas and H2S gas, and we're given the equilibrium concentrations of ammonia gas as 0.276 molar and that of hydrogen sulfide as 0.365 molar. We want to calculate the value of the equilibrium constant at this temperature. So the first thing we need to do is write the equilibrium expression, and then we're going to plug these concentrations into the equation, the equilibrium expression equation, to solve for KEQ. So when writing the equilibrium expression, we write KEQ is equal to the concentrations of the products raised to the power of their coefficients divided by the concentrations of the reactants raised to the power of their coefficients, but we omit pure liquids and solids from the equilibrium expression, which also means we om omit liquid water. So in this problem, when we're solving for KEQ, when we want to write the equilibrium expression, we have a solid here. So we're going to omit the solid from the expression. So what we want for the equilibrium expression is the, the concentrations of the products raised to their coefficients, which is one, over the concentrations of the reactants, which is not included in the equation because it's a solid. So it's just the concentration of ammonia gas times the concentration of hydrogen sulfide gas. So we plug in our values. The concentration of ammonia gas is given to us as 0.276 molar times the concentration of hydrogen sulfide gas, which is 0.365 molar. We multiply these together and we get 0.101 as our equilibrium constant. Notice we don't put units in the, equili in the equilibrium constant. To get more chemistry help like this, sign up at my site, chemin10.com. Leave me your email address and I'll send you a free copy of my Amazon.com bestselling book, Solving Mole Problems. This is Melanie Fine of Chemin10.